This video will walk you through some typical conceptual or definitional questions for Chapter 9. True or false? Fixed costs should not be included in a performance report because fixed costs are not controllable. And that's going to be false. First of all, fixed costs can be controllable or not controllable depending on what type of fixed cost it is and where that cost is generated from. And so you do want to be looking at how well we perform both in fixed cost as well as variable cost. Number two, a flexible budget can be used to determine what costs should have been at a given level of activity. And that is definitely true. Because the whole key about a flexible budget is that they are prepared for any level of activity within a specified range. If activity is higher than expected, total variable costs should be higher than expected. If activity is lower than expected, total variable costs should be lower than expected. And this goes back to our previous video where we're talking about here. As my activity increases, my total variable cost is going to increase. As my activity level decreases, my total variable cost will decrease. So the answer to that one is going to be true. Four, when a flexible budget is used in performance evaluation, actual costs are compared to what the cost should have been for the actual level activity during the period rather than to the static planning budget. So let's look at that again. It says, when you use a flexible budget, actual costs are compared to what the cost should have been for the actual level activity. And that is true. The whole idea about looking at performance, looking at your revenue and spending variances, is that you're going to use the flexible budget because that will compare apples to apples, the same level activity. Five, activity variance is due solely to the difference between the level activity assumed in the planning budget and the actual level activity used in the flexible budget. And that's going to be true. If you look here, the activity levels are different in this performance report. And that's why we only look at activity. What would be, it helps me understand, can, did I have enough revenue to cover the increased cost of variable cost? And you can see here, my net operating income is favorable, 13710 So the difference is going to be able to be absorbed by my additional revenue. So the additional cost from the difference in flexible budget activity level versus planning budget can be absorbed by the new revenue. Six, the activity variance for revenue is favorable if the activity level of, I'm sorry, if the actual level activity for the period exceeds the plan level activity. So the activity variance for revenue is favorable if the actual level activity for the period exceeds the planned level activity. And so that's what that's saying is if my flexible budget activity is greater than my static planning budget. And if we're talking about revenue, this is going to be flex minus my static, which would be a positive number. And when you get a positive change in revenue, that is favorable. So the answer is going to be true. Seven, the activity variance for revenue is unfavorable if the revenue in the flexible budget is less than the revenue in the static planning budget. And that, again, is going to be true. It's just saying the opposite of what we just did here. Nine, a revenue variance is favorable if the revenue in the static planning budget exceeds the revenue in the flexible budget. Just said it a different way again, and so this is going to be false. Because, again, you want a positive number, and it's flex minus the static or planning. And you want that difference to be positive for revenue. 10, a spending variance, so this is going toward the right-hand side of our performance report, is the difference between how much a cost should have been given, 
should have been given the actual level of activity and the actual amount of the cost for the period. So the spending variance is the difference between how much a cost should have been given the actual level of activity, so that's saying my actual number, and the actual amount of, of the cost for the period, meaning minus my flex, and that is true. Twelve, a flexible budget performance report contains both activity variances and revenue and spending variances. And again, if we just look at that report, we know that is true. Thirteen, directly comparing a static planning budget cost to actual costs only makes sense if the costs are fixed. And when we talked about the static planning budget and the performance report, that was the one thing we said. Static planning budgets are great if the majority of your cost is fixed. As soon as you have a material amount of variable cost, you can't compare if your activity level is different. 14. If the actual level of activity is 4% more than planned, then the variable costs in the static budget should be increased by 4% before comparing them to actual cost. And that's true. So what that's trying to say is we need to if we're going to use the static planning budget and the level changes, then we need to change our variable costs so that we're comparing apples to apples. 15. The purpose of the flexible budget is A. Remove items from the performance report that are not controllable by managers. Definitely not true. You want to see, because when you see the variances, the next question you ask yourself is who is responsible for that type of cost and is that cost controllable by that person? So A is not right. B manages to reduce the number of unfavorable variances that are reported? Definitely not. The idea is that you want to see what's favorable, unfavorable, and then you want to see is it controllable or uncontrollable cost. If it's controllable cost, then we have to f look at ourselves and say, are we being as, as efficient as possible? Do we need to train our people better? And so on. If it's not controllable, for example, if the minimum wage increases, well, that cost is going to be passed on to our companies and it's beyond our control. So we're going to have to change our planning budgets and our flexible budgets. C. Update the static planning budget to reflect the actual level of activity of the period. That's not a flexible budget. We're talking here flexible budget and this is saying static. They're not the same thing. So this is not correct. The flexible budget reflects the actual level of activity of the period because flexible budget member has different activity levels and you would choose the activity level that matches the actual activity level. And then D, reduce the amount of conflict between departments when the master budget is prepared. And that's not the purpose of the flexible budget. The flexible budget is the master budget with different levels of activity and then you choose the level of activity to match the actual. So then you can really see and compare apples to apples with the variances and then really get down to the nitty gritty of was it controllable or uncontrollable? So C is the best answer. 16. A static budget, A, should be compared to actual cost to assess how well costs were controlled. And remember, we compare static budget to flexible budgets only for activity levels. So that's not correct. B, should be compared to flexible budget to assess how well costs were controlled. And that's going to be wrong because, again, we're comparing it for activity levels to see did we meet what we predicted our cost to be. C is valid for only one activity level. That is correct. Static planning budgets are only good for one level. D represents the best way to set spending targets for managers. And you would use a flexible budget and compare that to actual to make D be true. So the static budget is only value valid for one level activity and you only compare it to the flexible budget for determining your activity variances. You do not use it for spending or revenue variances. Oops. Which of the following comparisons best isolates the impacts of a change in activity on performance? A. Static planning budget and flexible budgets. B. Static planning budgets and actual budgets. C. Flexible budget and actual results or D, master budget and static planning budgets? Well, 
D, we don't have to worry about, we don't, I'm sorry, wrong one. D, we don't even look at because we're not talking about master budget here. C, flexible budgets and actual budgets. And we're talking about here, activity. And activity variances compares flexible to our static. So flexible and actual, that's for your revenue and spending variances. So C is not right. Static and actual, not right. It's static or static planning budget and flexible. So A has got to be the right answer. 18. Which of the following would not appear on a flexible budget performance report as shown in the text? A, variable costs. Well, they would definitely be part of the performance report. B, mixed cost. Mixed cost means like utilities could have a variable cost component and a fixed cost component. And yes, that would be shown on our report. A flexible budget adjusted to the actual level activity. That would definitely be part of the report. The previous year's actual cost. And this would be no. So this would be the answer.